Steve, should we talk or just listen? What are you thinking? Maybe we should just let this go? <laughs> I, I don't want to interrupt. I mean, I got, I got to tell you, though, how am I supposed to follow Buzz Aldrin? Because I have the answer. I knew you would ask that. I just know you because I know you and I love you. I knew you would ask. Listen, it's a Jersey thing, man. It's a Jersey. You know, here, and I know, and I know you've talked and you know Buzz, Montclair, how great is that? And what, it's a great segue to Steve Autobotto. Greats from, the, greats from I, New I, Jersey. I, huh? I don't want to question. Who am I to question the song selection? And I, I never would ever challenge uh you know, summer wind, but I thought "Fly Me to the Moon" was coming up. Oh, that would have been a good one. I don't want to say anything. But, but, but you just anything. think it. You Listen, I was going to play the theme to Downton Abbey in, in you know, uh, a celebration of PBS beating the Steve, answers yesterday. Steve, you didn't play. You didn't play this PBS game yesterday. He goes, we we couldn't decide. I had a, uh, listen, huh? I had a yeah. listen. I want to make it clear. Yeah. I got a phone call. I got a call. Listen, Frank, is Frank there? Yeah, Frank I'm here. here. Absolutely, we're all here. Yeah. Listen. I got a call. I don't want to say anything, but I got a high-level call yesterday from a very high-level official in the public broadcasting system. Big As bird. everyone knows, I've been in public broadcasting for over 20 years. I got a call, and when you get a call from a high-level official at PBS, said, Steve, if you play, it could be your last time on the air, PBS. <laughs> if you play what? for that radio station and you wear that uniform, You've made a choice. Was was it a union so guy so named Dominic who called you? But... Shrink bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Steve, it wouldn't be a good idea if you played. <laughs> I work in the local, and it's not a good idea if you show up, Mr. Adamato. And you said, I, yes, sir, I, I, whatever you think. So, Frank, I want to apologize, because if I were there, Frank, I know I say this all the time, if I were there... Things could have been different. It could have been like 20. What was the score? Like 20. What was the score? Well, we right? stopped counting after they scored 20 runs or 21 <laughs> runs. But I asked them, so, you know, Steve Adubato doesn't play for you guys either. They said, are you kidding? We wouldn't even ask him. He lives so far away, he'd never show up. See? But you, he asked, you asked the rest of us, Frank. That's right. To play. That's you, right. You asked him to show up. Hey, Steven, how are yeah. you? Look at pri primary day, my friend. What are you, what are you thinking? Today? That is, Yeah, but, you know, I know, you know, New York, New York today, today. And, you know, Donald run away with it. But I made a prediction. I think, I don't know why, and, am I, and you know politics as good as uh, Frankie Five Burrows. I'm, wonder, I'm wondering that, it, that Bernie doesn't squeak out and, and beat Hillary. I just love the drama of it all. You think that could possibly happen in New York today? Uh, I'll tell you what. Hillary Clinton has made uh, the impossible possible. She has, um, after being Secretary of State, United States Senator from New York State, the former First Lady, millions of millions of dollars in the bank. She was the prohibitive favorite. Nobody wanted to run. She has allowed a socialist United States Senator from the great state of Vermont, a dead heat nationally. She has made this a race. That's how great a candidate Hillary Clinton is. <laughs> She's impressive, i got to tell you. i got to tell you. I'll tell no, you. I, gotta, I do not think she will lose this race yeah. ultimately. Um, yeah. She has too much going for her. I think that the win in New York City will be too strong for her. The African-American and Latino vote will be too strong for her here. But he will make it a race. Bernie Sanders is going to make it a race. This is more about Hillary Clinton than it is about Bernie. No disrespect. But if Donald Trump were not in this race, Bernie Sanders would be an unbelievable political story. He already, already is, but because mm. Trump is in it, that's yeah. all anyone's really talking about. Maybe. How, what do you think is going to happen in Jersey, Steve Adubato? You think Governor Christie will help Trump in advance of the New Jersey primaries? Uh, June seventh, the yeah. New Jersey primary never matters. It's so late. Yeah, yeah. In the but... primary season, it never matters. It's going to matter. Uh, there are a lot of delegates here, and I do think that the governor, who has been laying low uh, lately, I'm sure he talks to um, Mr. Trump a lot. Um, I think he gives them advice. I think they've become very close. He doesn't need to be out there on the campaign trail with him. I, um, I've told you guys this before about the governor and I. I'm friendly with the governor. I not not have been a great fan of this particular move. I think the governor thinks it was a right move for him politically. Um, I think the governor is going to be out for him, um, and it's going to make a difference. And I think that Trump is well positioned in New Jersey. If he wins in New York by as much as most of us think. He may get, if he gets over 50% in New York State, mm. he's well positioned on June 7th 
in New Jersey and ultimately in California. And I don't think, guys, I know it's going to hurt some of you, I don't think he gets 1237 on the first ballot. Then all hell breaks loose after that, yeah. guys. I got to yeah. tell you, I don't know what happens. Yeah. Hey, hey, Steve, do you think everybody's going with Governor Christie, vice president? There's no way that uh, the Donald, I think, picks the Governor Christie as vice president because you don't want two Northeast guys there. you got to go to, uh, to Ohio or wherever. But am I right in assuming that, Steve Adubato? Well, listen, here, here's how you, you picture this for vice president, Chris Christie. Yeah. There's a number one guy and there's a number two guy. I know everyone jokes about this, but Chris Christie had the audition as vice president, and you saw what he was like standing behind Donald Trump. Oh, you saw what he was like standing behind Donald Trump, and that I thought I, I I thought that they they just ran. I, I didn't like what they did with Governor Christie and that that they ran all over Twitter. I mean, what was that about? He was just being polite. He was just behind the. He didn't want to upstate, huh? Huh? Jokes aside, Joe. Yes. Chris Christie. Um, is a number one guy. He's a chief executive. Yeah, interesting. You like his decisions, you don't like his decisions. That's not the point. The point is, in my view, he is a chief executive officer. He's a governor. He's a number one guy, or, or what I mean by that, you know, I don't mean from a sexist point of view. He is not a number two person. He's not yeah. a vice president yeah. of material. He's just but, not. He could, but he would be an awesome attorney general. Am I right, Steve? He could be attorney general. He could be someone who heads up Homeland Security. He's that kind of person. Um, I don't think that that's what he wants. I think, you know, he still harbors national ambition. But, uh, you know, again, I, it's so much So much has to happen politically. New Jersey does matter. Um, but I mean, let me ask you guys this. i got to turn this around on you. Uh -huh. Joe, when yeah. Donald Trump is complaining about the rules, mm -hmm. when he says everything's rigged, yeah. i got to ask you something. Yes. Does that sound like a bit of whining when, in fact, these rules have been in place for like almost a year and everybody no. knew what the rules were? No, no, I hear, I hear what you're saying, but no, I don't, I don't agree with that because I heard I Donald say, he goes, because it's the power of the people that should prevail. And Donald said, I knew the rules. I knew what was going on in Colorado, and I don't agree with it. I'm going to go right to the people, and I love that. And I said, and I railed about this earlier, Steve, this whole delegate, super delegate thing is wrong. It should be direct democracy. So I don't, I don't really fault Donald Trump for saying that. Uh, but I, I, and I don't, listen, I don't fault Ted Cruz either, Steve, for being... Uh, a student of the system. Exactly right. Exactly right. In a very, very smart way, I might add. You know, but, so but I understand that. Points for that. Why? Why is that lying? To, listen, I'm not a fan of cruises, and and you clearly, you know, I don't like Hillary Clinton. I don't think the choice is a great one. I just don't like this. When Trump says vote? I'm a yeah. winner, you'll yeah. be tired of me winning. All I'm saying is he has been winning. He's going to win today. If he doesn't get the 1237, that's the process, and those yeah. delegates legally. They're not bound to him in many states because they didn't change the rules. Those are the rules. And if he wins outright, he should. And yeah. they can't screw him and shouldn't screw him. By the way, I also feel if he gets very close to 1237 and they don't give him the nomination from a practical point of view, for yeah. Republicans, it's yeah. dangerous business. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Hey, hey, Steve, I gotta, what about, you know, I like Kim Guadano, lieutenant governor of New Jersey. Is she going to run for governor, do you know? terrific. I think yeah. I think. Kim Gordano is terrific. She had a great personality, yep. very yep. engaging. Great gal, great gal. Um, um, I think that the Democrats have convinced themselves in New Jersey that post Chris Christie, it's time for a Democratic governor. I think Chris, I think Kim Gordano has to establish herself herself as her own person. It's going to be very tough while the governor is there. Uh, no, he cast point. a very good strong yeah. shadow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Again, but. Uh, how does she get out there and do that while she's yeah. part of the administration? Yeah, that's it's a good it's, point. it's I, I think she's very loyal. To, I don't think. I know she's very loyal to the governor. Um, but she has established a committee that allows her over time to uh, be more independent. But, again, part of the administration, she's not going to leave the administration. I think it's going to be very, very interesting in 2017. Yeah. And uh, you guys will be on the air, Governor. We'll be talking about it. But in New Jersey, there's always an election, like every six months away, it feels like, even though it's legally every four. Yeah, so Steve Adubato, great conversation today, Steve, and I wanted to have some fun with you, but it is about the primaries, and we appreciate it, you, uh, your expertise. This is a guy in such demand, Steve Adubato, for corporations the world over. They bring Steve in. He does these great inspirational talks. He wrote this great new book called Lessons in Leadership, PBS anchor, and our friend right here on the radio station, Steve Adubato. Love you, Stephen, and we'll see you soon, my friend. See you down the shore, man, when you have that party for all of us at your big, beautiful shore home, and you invite us. We're having a big party. 
party. We're having a big event at uh, Burton Community College. Uh, in yeah, May. yeah. The Salem Business Breakfast, man. You're going to be there, brother. we got to be there. Be there. Be By the way, I want to congratulate Frank and the AM970 team for scoring four runs <laughs> against public broadcasting. <laughs> it, it didn't look like we were going to get that far for a while. <laughs> Steve, Listen, thank, you, thank you, thank you, Stephen. We'll, By the way, if we'll people see. want tickets to that business breakfast to yes, see Frank. you, both of you, they can go to am970theanswer.com. Yeah, we, that's going to be a great day. What is that, May 3rd? Wait, May 3rd, we yes. say, guys? Yeah. Right? All righty, all righty. Debbie Duhame is on the roads at 752 on AM 970, The Answer. <laughs>